All right, Doug here again from X-Frames FPV, and, and so we're going to just continue this video, this build video on the Hyperlite. So we're going to highlight some of the sections. And so we have the motors mounted up here, and, um, you know, some people just put two screws in them, and, and that's really all that's necessary. Um, but I like to put four for my customers just because, um, you know, not knowing what level of flyer they are and how you how often they're going to be checking these um, it just kind of adds a little insurance so that's what we're doing um, but these are at this point um, ESCs are mounted up and wired to the motors um, these XM20s make it really easy to wire the motors up because it has the pads right off the motors and so um, are right off the ESCs and so the next step is we're going to be trimming the ESC signal leads and mounting everything up to the PDB. Okay, one of the things that I like to do here, um, let me get this on camera and make sure I'm back far enough, back as far as it's going to go. So let me pull this back here. There we go. When I am mounting up, there we go. Hopefully that's got it and it's going to keep it. There we go. So this one on this, um, this is build number two for the Hyperlite series. And this customer requested the Hub OSD. And if you go to, to Surge's site, you can do a click down um, and be able to um, choose if you want Hub OSD. And it, it adds a little bit. It costs a little bit, but it's not a lot. And it really does make it nice. But one of the things that I do like um, when I'm doing these is I like to get as much wiring as I can done. Um, I use these helping hands, and this is these are the quad. What are they called? The quad helping hands or quad four or something, um, and they really work well. Um, but so this is going to the the LEDs that we put on these run off of four cell power, so it's just going to run directly off of off of the board. So I'm going to run that. I run it underneath. Um, this is the five volts that's going to go to the F3 flight controller. And I will go ahead and wire up before I even get it installed. I will wire up all of the VTX and the camera. And that way when this is in, all I have to do is mount my ESCs to it and, um, and then solder, you know, do the soldering of the flight controller. And that makes it really easy. I'll show you the back here. Now, I do this on all of my flight controllers. I don't care if it, if there's no carbon fiber underneath. I just, it's just something that I do. And, and, you know, I tape them all up. And I know a lot of us do that. And in addition on these frames, on these Hyperlight builds, um, I would suggest, man, it's a, it, it's a rat's nest when you first put these ESCs on there. But let me get this in focus hopefully right there see that back this nut here or sorry wrong end because <laughs> it's already done <laughs> oh guys it's sunday morning and uh, my brain has not decided to wake up with my body um, but uh, one of the other things that i did here you can see this nut here i put a little bit of um, liquid tape on there because when this gets mounted on here it does sit right on there and that's right above um, the battery input so um, I just this is an added protection even though it already has the tape so it's just a little added protection and um, that way if you have a hard hit you know you're not going to have an issue with um, with shorting out anything okay so that's what we've done there when we go to the flight controller um, get stuff sorry guys I wasn't really prepared to do all of this but as I'm as I'm going through it, it I just think it it makes sense the next step here is going to be the flight controller um, there's not going to be a lot of prep done to this flight controller because this is just a real standard um, f3 flight controller um, we will do direct soldering to pins r2 um, motors one two three and four and then on motor seven are on lead seven that's where we're going to actually put 
the voltage, the five volts from the flight or from the PDB. So it's a pretty simple build. Um, and that's kind of my thing. I like to do simple builds. I don't like them to be crazy. Um, uh, not just complicated. I don't, cause a lot of them are complicated, but I want them to be as clean as possible so that when you're done, you can look at it, you can see exactly what's going where. And if you do need to do repairs, it's easy because, um, if you fly, you crash, that's just the reality. And so you want it to be as easy to fix, um, as you can now. A lot of times when I'm building for my customers, I'm going to go ahead and pin these, right? We've talked about that in some of my other videos. Um, but on this one, because it's a stacked, you know, these acro kind of frames that are real short, um, they get a stacked build. Everything stacks right on top of each other. And so in that case, you do need to hardwire. And um, that's not a bad way to do it. It's actually a good way to do it. It's it's really what I do to my own frames. Um, but the pinning, the, the advantage to that is if you do have a problem with a flight controller, you just unplug and plug back in. So that's where we are in this build. I'm going to go ahead, <clears throat> take a couple more steps, and then I'll be back with you on where, what the progression is and where we're at in the build. Okay, hope you guys are getting something out of this. If I'm missing something, if I've, you know, I've watched videos before and I'm like, oh, he didn't show what I was looking for, you know. And um, so if I'm doing that, let me know. Okay, put it in the comment section. I am not a, you know, I, I, I'm i totally okay with um, critiques and um, I want this to be useful to my viewers and um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope you get to have a good day. And check out my website, xframesfpv.com. Like, subscribe, and I hope you have time to fly. Thanks so much.